my friends. Hi, Scouters and Scout families. Just wanted to say we're here for another episode of our Distance Learning Weeblos Lessons. And I want to give a special shout out to Den22, Scouts and families. We miss you guys. My name is Alistair today, and we are going to do a continuation from where last week we did fix it in our Scout book. Today, we're going to actually talk about build it. So the first thing you need to do is go grab your Weeblos book and a pencil or pen and your journal that we talked about last week where you can kind of start that. So go grab your journal. If you don't have it, we'll pause just for a second. Okay, now that you're back, grab your Weeblos book and turn to page 269 for Build It. 269. This is going to be a great section that you can do this week. It only has four requirements. Um, you may or may not be able to complete one of those, and if you can't, that's okay. So if you notice my hard hat, today what we're focusing on with this is the aspect of construction, more construction materials and construction jobs and careers, and trying to get you guys to build something. Um, I love construction stuff. I think it's because I'm banned from using them because I'm probably not the safest in the world, and my family thinks that I'm going to get hurt, so they won't let me use these cool tools here. But just if anybody has a dump truck that they could let me drive, I just want to drive a dump truck once in my life. Leave a message down below so I can drive a dump truck. All right, so enough of that. Let's get on to business. The first thing that we want to talk about today is I want you to have um, to talk about four tools. Now, it doesn't have to be these four tools, but I want you to find four great construction tools that you can learn about and how to use them properly. So today, my wonderful husband has pulled out some of his construction tools to, to use and utilize. So here we have a Sawzall. Sawzall. Thank you, Alistair. <laughs> a Sawzall. Now, I have used this thing under close supervision, but this one we used when we were um, demolishing some of our house when we were doing an add-on and some kitchen construction, which is really super cool. Um, this cuts through. Do you know what it cuts through? Wood. And sheetrock, some metal. Oh, Alice forgot to use this one when he did his, when we made a kitchen addition. So this one was kind of cool. A, a, <laughs> a sawzall. Now, the next one, I have never used this one. I am banned from using this one. So this one is a circular saw. So yeah, this one is used for making long straight cuts. And um, this is very dangerous. You have to watch your fingers, watch your eyes. And we're going to talk about all that in just a minute. I've never used this one. They won't let me. So anyway, this one is another cool one. This one is a jigsaw. Now this one I have used. This one's kind of neat for cutting in little tight places. If you'll notice, I don't think that you can see it, but it has a little tiny smaller blade that has that makes fine cuts and kind of zigzaggy zaggy cuts and things like that. So this one I have used, but you still have to be very careful with this one. Um, now, some tools that I'm gonna let Alistair talk to you about. First, let's do these over here. This is a just a hand saw. A hand saw. It is used for just cutting normal wood or pipe. Wood or pipe. Now you guys probably would have one of these laying around at your house more so than what this is because this is a handy dandy tool. Now, if you don't have um, access to one of the electrical ones, you can still build stuff with this and make some of your cuts and, and your neat little. Uh, transitions and stuff so you could so this is a great little saw Walmart purchase too all right this is a coping, a coping saw coping saw this is for use for cutting, cutting trim and tiny corners. places yes no and the blade on that one again is very small and very sharp so it makes those little tiny fine cuts now a couple of the tools of that course we had in your tool bag from last week with fix it I want to just reiterate some of these the most important ones that we can have here are, of course, your tape measure. We have to measure have measure twice, cut once. <laughs> we have to have our tape measure. As my husband's back there saying, measure twice, cut once. Can't forget that rule. Measure twice, cut once. We always want a good tape measure. And something else is a level. Is a level, a nice good level. So that way you can tell, of course, whether things are going to be level or not. Now, here's something that you may or may not have is a. a Square. square. <laughs> it is a square. And can you guess what a square does? A square makes things square. 
make sure that they're straight on all sides. So these are very important. I think those would probably be some of the best things to get on this side, more so than spending all of your money on your electrical power tools. Now, um, some of you guys may have had an experience last year to um, where you were building with your bears, if you got to do that one. Our bears last year went to the Habitats of Humanity and they let us build, helped us build a um, toolbox. So this was kind of cool. And I got to use, <laughs> I got to use an air powered nail gun, which was super cool. All right, enough of that. Let's talk about the second item on our requirements for this week is safety. So we gotta make sure that you have some safety things. Do you guys know what we would use for safety? Now, for backyard building, of course, you're not gonna need a hard hat, but I just think it's kinda cool to get to wear it sometimes. Now, what is one of the first things we do need, Alistair? Uh, ear safety. Ear safety. So, ear protection of some sort. You can get these little squishy, squeezy ones, or you can use the big over the ear that covers the whole entire ear, but make sure you're, you're protecting your hearing, especially when you're using your power tools of all sorts. Very important, because you only get one shot at your hearing. Now, the next thing is we need eye our eye protection. Of course, I do have on my glasses. Lots of people say that if you have your glasses on, you can slip your, your those will count, or you can slip your safety protectors on over top of that. Um, I think that's just a matter of if you don't want your your eyeglasses to get broken or whatever the case is. So, um, you do have your eye protection. That is very, very, very important. And I would highly recommend that if you don't do anything, get your eye protectors. Of course, your ear protectors would be next. And the next thing that I would recommend would be maybe a pair of work gloves of some sort, just to make sure that you're not getting a splinter, you're not gonna cut the tip of your finger off, you're more likely to cut your glove or something than you would going through your finger. So be careful with that. Gloves are always a good necessity as well. In your book, if you'll look, that they do have a couple of recommended um, safety precautions there too. And another one is your shoes. Don't go using those power tools in flip-flops. I did put my shoes on today. I have closed toed closed shoes just in case I was lucky enough to get to use any of these for you. Now, our challenge is that we're going to need to make a blueprint and come up with some type of project that you want to build or have an idea to build. Now, if you can't build at home, that's perfectly fine. Just wait till you get with your den leader and get back with everyone that you can try to build. If you have some scrap materials left over, or just maybe sitting out behind your garage or stacked up somewhere. See if you can find some great ideas. You can go online and find some um, cheap little blueprints, um, free blueprints for things like an herb garden, a flower box, a raised gardening bed. The little kits at Lowe's. Oh, and if you guys do get to Lowe's, those are great little builder kits too. They, they don't use all of your power tools, but the building kits at Lowe's where you can build your little bird houses or your race cars, I think in this case, those might even work as well. Now, the last thing that I would like for you to do is to explore a construction job and a construction site. Now, guys, I know that we can't get out and do those right now, but I have on good faith that there are lots of virtual, virtual locations that we can go tour, can take a tour of construction sites and look at those jobs. Those will be perfect for you to do. What you do need to do, though, is to make sure make sure that you are writing this stuff down and documenting this. Make sure that you're sending it to your DIN leader and make sure that you are close contact with everything that you're doing with your DIN leader. So if you can't tell, the cat has my attention right now. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. This is Build It and much love and peace and health to you all. See you soon.